water in Polynesian, it's called vai. Vai means also to live. Water on land, it's like blood in your body. When the land and the sky, they meet together, Sky Father is crying and the rain fall on Mother Earth. She funnel it through a spring or through a river where he will meet the ocean. Sometimes it will also go underneath the sand and comes out in the lagoon. That pathway for us is groundwater, is by, is life. But slowly, we have seen this water changing because of changing of life. There are a lot of challenges. They make a hole, a grand trou. They boit comme ça là-bas quand le la marée est basse, l'eau est potable. C'est avant il y avait beaucoup plus de coraux que ça. Et avec la pollution, ça a dû crever aussi les coraux. Mais la mer elle était pas là, elle était là-bas. Comment on dit ça, le niveau de la mer à l'époque s'était retiré, c'est là-bas. Après, elle a monté avec le, le réchauffement climatique. If we don't bring science into local knowledge, we miss our goals because there is a lot to learn for researchers about what people know about their place. It's really important because that's the first step to know each other. I'm here trying to understand how fresh water that lives right beneath our feet, how that is getting out to our coastal oceans and affecting coral reefs. I'm really interested in how that groundwater is changing the chemistry of our ocean and ultimately how it affects the entire ecosystem. So we're over here at this submarine groundwater discharge seep, which is literally a crack in the ground where fresh water comes up and can bubble out onto the reef. And you can feel it by walking, shuffling your feet, and all of a sudden some cold water comes up. That cold water is fresh groundwater that comes up. You can also see it. It becomes really, really shimmery because the density is actually different. Even though this is natural, it can actually act as a conduit for pollutants. So sewage can seep into it, fertilizers can seep into it and that can all get out to the ocean and affect coral reefs. Whatever you do on the land, the ocean is the recipient. But we also have a global impact. As we are changing our climate, we're changing the amount of rainfall that's coming down, which of course affects how much water is getting out to the reefs. Also, sea level rise can have an effect on how much groundwater is getting out to the reefs. So humans are affecting it in lots of different ways. Knowing more, it's always a plus. Because it is when you understand that you can protect.
we don't really know very much about how the groundwater is affecting coral reefs. That groundwater not only affects the coastal systems, but it affects the people because it's drinking water. So we could actually enact policy change to show areas where groundwater might be polluted, and hopefully the city will then do what they can do to protect not only the reef, but also the health of their people. It's like you growing a home where every wall talks to you. It's like every molecule of the water is speaking to you. If we don't rebuild this relationship of the water, the principle of life is not sacred anymore. We are all taking from Mother Nature. Let's all give back a little bit by putting our efforts together. If you, if you take care of your water, the water will always be there for humanity. How can I say it's for all of us? We say in Taishan, no tattoo. It's for all of us. Fatta uwa rufa itu fenua.